this video i will show you how you can convert an image from dcom into png or jpeg using pydcom numpy and pillow because i want to use pillow to do the saving part or displaying part okay so to do that we have to install three libraries that i told you the first one is uh, numpy for example pip install numpy i have already installed this library so i don't have to install it another time but in your case if you don't have it you have to install it then here we have the second one which is below like this i have already this too so the third one is by decom like this okay so we have to install these three libraries i will create this one here we have to install that three libraries then we have to import them here we have import numpy as np like this then we have the second one which is import by decom then the third one we will import from pil which is below we will import the class image like this okay now after doing this we have to open the image that we want to use in my case the image is already on the same folder of my project so i don't need to copy all the path i i need just to write the name of the image but in your case if you don't have the image at the same path of your folder here of your project folder you need to take all the path of the image now here i will put it for example in this variable eim which is image then here we need to use the pydecom uh, library then here that dcm read which is that it will read the decom image then here uh, we need to put the path as i told you i will just copy the name here like this and that's it now i have read the image here and it is stored in this variable what you want what you have to say to know that a decom image contains a lot of information it contains the pixels or, or the image that we will we want to display and it contains the patient information it contains a lot of information but in this case what we want to do we want to display or we want to convert only the pixels part only the image part so in this case we have to take the array of or the array that contains the pixels the values of the pixels and this array that we will use to to create a jpeg image or to create the png image etc so here to do that we need to we will store it here in the same variable so here i will leave it i will leave it image then here we have image dot array like this pixel array sorry we have pixel array like this so this image pixel array this function pixel array will will take the uh, only the the pixels part all only the image part from the decom image and it will store just here if we will do this we, there is no problem with that but we for the moment we can't see this uh, image because it is not rescaled so we need to rescale this image so that we can see it or we can display it or we can convert it into PNG, png or jpeg so but before doing that before rescaling it we need to convert it into float pixels why i am doing this because if i will leave it just like this and we will divide this by 255 we will lose a lot of information we will have the uh, overflow overflow and the underflow uh, losses so to to avoid this we need to convert these pixels into float so if so that if we will uh, do the if we will divide the pixels by 255 which means after the rescaling we won't uh, lose the information so i will do this work only just here so i will put it as type here not yes as type and i will put here float like this now all the pixels have all the values of the pixels are float for the moment so if i will divide this pixels by 255 I won't lose any information. Then here we need uh, we need to do the rescaling. So I will call it, for example, rescaled image. Okay. Now we will we will use the uh, 
what do we call it? We'll use the NumPy, uh, NumPy uh, library to do this because for this image is an array. So to work with the arrays, we'll use the NumPy because it is very easy to manipulate arrays. Here we have what we have to do. We have the NumPy that we'll use this function maximum. What, why we are using this one? Because we want to take only the, the pixels that, that are between zero and and 200 uh, and something like something like uh, between zero and 255 if there are some uh, some negative pixels we don't need them so we need to convert all the negative pixels into zero so to do that we have to put here the name of the image which is image like this then here we have zero this function what we will that we, it will uh, leave all the pixels that they are uh, bigger than zero but for the pixels that are less than zero it will convert them into zero just like this then here after doing this we need to uh, we said that we have to rescale it which means we will put all the pixels between zero and one okay so to do that we have to uh, divide all the pixels by the maximum value of the image so here we have the image which is this one that max like this and this one now what we have to do after dividing it by the, the maximum we will have only values between zero and and uh, and one because we did we did the rescaling so we have values between zero and one but if we want to create an image we need we need to have we need to have the pixels or the values between zero and 255 so to do that we have to only what we have to do is multiply this values by 255 like this so now we have the values between 255 because the maximum value here which will be 1 so 1 by 255 will be the maximum value for example it will be white so but these values are always float because we didn't convert them but so if we will use this float variables to create an image we won't have a clear image we will have a lot of noise etc so we need to convert them to a uh, unsigned integer with eight, eight bytes. So to do that, we have just to create. We will. I will put it for example. Just uh, I will call it final image. Why not? Then here we, we will call the numpy uh, function that here unsigned integer. Yes, you in. You win eight then here we will put the name of the image that we have which is the rescaled image so here we have the image between 0 and 255 integer pixels we, we we don't have the because here we have float pixels then here the same image but we converted the pixels into integers pixels for example like this okay now it is done what we have to do is just to convert this image from an array into an image using this below function or this below uh, class which is this one image so here we have i will put in the same variable which is final image here and i will create i will call the class image this one and this one has this uh, class has a function which is called from array which means we will go from an array and create an image so from array and here we will put the name of the variable that we have which is final image i am talking about this okay now this image is ready if we want to display it we have just to create to click on final image that display not sorry that show i am confusing things so here we have that show so here we can display the image which is this one as you can see if we want to save it as a, a jpeg or png we need to write here you have final image dot save then here you will write you can choose the the, the path or you can if you want to save it uh, on this uh, in this folder with the same project so you can write just the name of the new image so i will call it for example new image dot jpeg like this if i will save it here you will see that here we have the jpeg image like this new image that jpeg and the same thing for the png you can just do png 
and this is the new image here png because after doing all this work now you can do anything you want you can save it any as any type you want okay so that was for this video i hope that you enjoy it you will find the whole code in the description so that you can just take it and use it and uh, don't forget to click in the like button and subscribe and turn on the not notification i see you in next video bye